everyone, uh, over on YouTube, Facebook, all the good stuff. Um, I think anyone who spends any time going to protests will, over a year or two, or in my case three years, develop a, a profound hatred for what the police uniform represents. And more often than not, uh, you'll have a profound hatred for the asshole that is in that uniform. I was at um, it was a very small protest that I stumbled on by accident today in Manchester um, of about 12 disabled people, some of them in wheelchairs, were protesting about the cutting of funding by the government for care for the disabled. And they were in their wheelchairs and they were trying to block the street. Anyway, the street got unblocked with, within 10 minutes. But um, just the way a police van came screaming in, like as if it was Jason Bourne and had to get there to like stop a shootout. They came screeching in and two, four, sorry, four policemen came bursting out of this van for 12 activists and they're standing there, they're trying to tell these wheelchair people, get off the road. And it's that robotic, do whatever the book says attitude, which I cannot stand. So the world's getting worse. It's probably all our faults. Um, and there's been just developments each day which stop me being like, yay, love and light, we just need to hug them and give them a free hug and then within a year we'll have enough people woken up and the world's gonna change. It's not gonna change, I'm sorry. It's not going to change. Power and greed, oh, how imperfect and horrible people love the power and the greed. So what else is new? Israel has said to Rachel Corey's family, sorry, the Corey's, sorry, Mr. Corey and Mrs. Corey, it was your daughter's fault. She had a social conscience. She was trying to stop some residential area from being bulldozed. Uh, the Israeli man and his bulldozer run her over and murdered her, killed her. At least, at the very least, a negligent accident, sorry, a negligent death. It was an accident, you know, but they saw her. There's eyewitnesses people say that the guy in the bulldozer saw her, but you know, just like the British government, yeah, kill Ian Tomlinson at the protest and fucking kill the protesters and no murder, no manslaughter charges and the Israeli government saying, yep, we are not, not fucking guilty. Also now in America, uh, it's all over the mainstream news here, an anarchist militia has been um, smashed and a few people arrested in America for plotting to shoot um, Obama and do a few other uh, things. I'd just like to ask the media, um, um, the people in the media, is um, what evidence do you have of the political ideology of the um, suspects? Because I've read as much as I could onto this subject and I can't find any evidence of any political ideology. Um, it's just um, very sensational for you know those in the system and their elites and the followers and people who believe in the system to have a scary word like anarchist. And are we really gonna go from, say, Nazi, to communist, to terrorist, to anarchist? Maybe we should start avoiding uh, words that don't end in, um, sorry, that end in um, ist. What would I be? Um, humanist? No, anyway. I just wanted to come and um, explore a new setting on my camera which makes very vivid colors. But thank you very much for watching and I'll try and post again as soon as I can.